people are always telling me they're very intimidated to make tamales at home, but they are super easy and super fun to make in your own kitchen, and I'm gonna show you how. It's easy to make the masa, you know why? Because you don't have to make your masa from scratch, you can use the corn flour masa that you buy in the stores. So all you need to do is mix it up with three quarter cups of fresh lard. Now I'm going to beat the lard until it is fluffy and puffy. If you don't wanna use lard, you can use vegetable shortening. And if you don't wanna use lard or vegetable shortening, you can use any kind of flavored oil. And once it's really fluffy, add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cold water, which is gonna help beat that fat, a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm gonna take turns with my corn, masa flour, and chicken broth. I'm gonna reduce the speed. And really the secret for having really great fluffy masa for tamales is to beat for a long time to have patience and to do it slow because the more that you beat, the more that everything gets incorporated. I have about three and a half cups of chicken broth and three and a quarter cups or one pound of corn flour masa. And keep alternating with moderate amounts of the two until they're finished. is how fluffy you want your masa. And you can tell if your masa is ready if you grab about a half a teaspoon of the masa and drop it into a cup of really cold water. And if it floats, yay, you should be really happy and proud because you have made your very first amazing batch of fresh masa. So now we have the dried corn husks that I soaked in a little bit of water so they will be nice and pliable because you don't want them to break as you fold your tamales. And then you put the tapered end towards you, add about two tablespoons of fresh masa, spread it, make a little bit of a dent in the center because that's where your filling is going to go. No matter what you do in here, they're gonna come out beautiful because you wrap them up, fold it up, go to one side, and then you fold the bottom towards the top, and you go like that, and you have your perfectly shaped tamal. And as you make them, place them as vertically as you can in a pot or a container. It is a great idea to have people over, you make a few of the fillings, and then you have a tamal making party. Enough tamales here, now I'm gonna show you how to assemble your tamalera, which is nothing but a pot with a steamer in the bottom. You have a big pot, and then you add enough water to have just under the steamer, and then you add a coin for two reasons. If you happen to run out of water, the coin will start jumping up and down if there's no more water, so you know that you need to add a little bit more. And also because people say that you need to have some money in there to keep the tamales happy, but you also wanna add some husks in the bottom of the strainer that will create sort of a protective layer. And then you add your tamales as vertically as you can. And I think it's just you have to be in the zone. Oh, add some more husks to the top, whatever remaining husks you have. It's a nice steam bath for the tamales. You are going to steam these tamales for about an hour. 